What's good, y'all? It's your boy 40BZ. You already know the name. And if you're new to the channel, appreciate you coming through. Today, I want to talk to you guys about compressors, compressors, what they are, and how to use them. All right, let's get started. So, what I have here, this reference track, is one of my own. It, uh, a new, new, new song I've been working on for my new EP 88. I'm going to play you a little bit of uh, the vocals with the compressor on and then a little bit without and then we'll go from there. You know, the pain falling inside, starting to ride, watching my side, stay with the five, feel by the side, time to fly, ain't like a fly, I know you a liar, I am no buyer, trying to get higher, glad it all me sire. Alright, now I'm going to play you the vocals with the compressors off. So clearly you can hear the difference, you know what I'm saying? With the compressor on, it adds volume, it's taming those peaks, it's bringing up the, the bottom, the floor level. It's kind of almost, it's, that's what compression is. It squishes the vocal, taming the high parts, raising the floor level, giving you a core vocal and enabling it to sit just right in the mix, alright? So now there's some key points I'm going to go over on every compressor you're using on a CD. Some, they, they automatically do it for you and you just have to control the attack and the release. As on this one right here, the CL-A76, uh, a popular one for the vocals, the wave plugin. Um, and as you can see, the controls, it just has the, the input, the output, the attack, the release, and the ratio. So pretty much it's automatically controlling the threshold. Now what what is the threshold? The threshold tells the compressor when to act. Alright? The attack pretty much is saying how fast do you want the compressor to start attacking you know the vocals if that's what you're using it on or your drums. The release how fast do you want it to release the vocals. Okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna reset it and show you guys how I achieved that sound. So, first, excuse me, first, what I like to do is raise the attack all the way up, alright? And then what, I, what you're trying to achieve here is a natural sound, alright? Because the one thing that I, I find like a lot of people doing is they're just over compressing the vocals okay and it's just squishing it and, and it's sounding lifeless and, and that's not what you want alright a rule of thumb is do no harm to the vocals or you know whatever sample you may be using you don't want to harm that you just want to control the transients and, and and raise the lower parts to give you that equal sounding dynamic uh, range alright so let me go ahead and solo the vocals We're going to play it back and I'm going to dial in the attack. Keep the paint bottle inside, stir in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the five, feel by the side, tell me who fly. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is slowly dial it back until I feel those transients, you know, breaking through it and giving it more life that the original performance had. Keep the paint bottle inside, stir in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the five, feel by the side, tell me who fly, you hear that? fly, I know you a liar, I am no buyer, trying to get higher, glider, call me sire, slider, glider, slip and slider, tipsy side. Alright, perfect, that's where I want it. Alright, you can, you can, you know, it's tearing the peaks, but you can hear the original transients in, in that live performance in the vocals. Now we're going to set the release. Keep the paint bottle inside, stir in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the five, feel by the side, tell me who fly, ain't like a fly, I know you a liar, I am no buyer, trying to get higher, glider, call me sire, slider, glider, slip and slider, tipsy cider, 16 fire, hunter, Perfect. gather, provider, grinder, wire, tired, hang on by thread like... You hear that? Now, it's, it's you know, it's, it's not, it's releasing it and it's not holding on to that tail, so... It sounds natural. It, it sounds the same as
as it as it did before, just with a little bit more volume, a little bit more control. All right. And I don't know if I went over the ratio, but the ratio is another important um, aspect of the compressor. What the ratio is is saying is, okay, I have it set to four, right? So what the ratio is saying is for every 4 dBs that this goes above the threshold, you're going to raise it 1, and etc. You know, so if it's, if it's 3, 1, 3, 2, however much it's going over, it's going to raise it just that amount. So the ratio is pretty much exactly what it, what it says. It's, it's a ratio uh, for the numbers. And this, this compressor is, is kind of like cheating you. You know, it's kind of like a cheat code because it kind of does a lot of stuff for you. But I will uh, bring up a stock compressor and show you guys because I know a lot of you guys don't have these. Uh, you know, some of you guys don't have these these uh, these these compressors that I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that for you and bring up uh, the stock Pro Tools compressor. All right. Keep the paint bottle inside. So I'm gonna play with the sound. Watching my side, stay with the five, feel by the side. Tell me you fly, ain't like a fly. I know you a liar. I am no buyer, trying to get higher. Glide it, call me sire, slide it, glide it, slip and slide it, tips inside it, sixty fire. Alright, perfect. So, what I like to do, and I've, I, you know, I saw this on a, a way back on a tutorial I was watching, is I like to add another compressor right below that and I like to add the R compressor and what this one is more for the characteristics it brings a more warmer feeling to the vocal so what I'm doing here it, see this one now this one has a threshold it has a ratio your attack your release and your gain alright so what I'm doing here and I'll reset this is I just want to control the peaks a little bit more. You know, I don't want to I don't want it going too crazy on it, but I just want to control it a little bit more. Bring it in, make it a little bit more tighter. Just so it sinks in and, and fits perfectly with the uh instruments behind it, instrumentation behind it. I'll, I'll reset this one as well and uh show you how I do that one as well. Let me go ahead and, and mute it real quick. Keep the paint bottle inside, skirt in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the five, feel by the side, tell me who fly, ain't like a fly, I know you a liar, I am no buyer, trying to get higher, glider, call me sire, slider, glider, slip and slip. Now, now I want this attack a little bit more slower. Cause I'm I'm just trying to you know I already I already did the 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 uh, hard work with the first compressor, so I'm gonna set this attack a little bit slower just to catch anything the other one might have not, and I'm gonna set the release right around the same as the other one, pretty pretty quick. Now the ratio, as I was telling you, you see 164, so we're gonna set that around probably three every. 3 dBs that it goes above this threshold, it's going to only raise the volume once. Alright? Keep the paint bottle inside, skirt in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the fire, feel by the side, tell me who fly, ain't like a fly, I know you a liar, I am no buyer, trying to get high. On this one, as I bypass it, I, I'm losing some of that volume because I'm adding another a second compressor. So what I want to do is I'm going to use this gain knob and I'm going to I'm going to just bypass it A and B until it has that original volume back that it had before. Keep the paint bottle inside, skirt in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the fire, feel by the side, tell me who fly, ain't like a fly, I know you a liar, I am no buyer, trying to get higher, glider, call me sire, slider, glider, slip and slider, tipsy cider, 16 fire, hunter, gather, provider. Grinder, wire, tired, hanging by a thread like a spider, huh? Yellow hair like an outsider, huh? Yeah, you see that? Space divider, huh? Wishing her hips was wider, so huh? Loud. Giving it all, but it's not enough. Taking up the hit, yeah, taking up the puff. Perfect. 
You see, you see what I did there? As I bypassed and, and um, go back and forth and be it, you can notice it's the same. Alright, now let's hear it back in the chat. I start in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the five, feel by the side, tell me you fly, think like a fly, I know you a liar, I am no liar, trying to get higher, glider, call me sire, slider, glider, slip and slider, tipsy sider, 16 fire, hunter, gather, provider, grinder, wire, tired, hang on my thread like a spider, huh, get a hair like an outsider, huh, giving a space divider, huh. Alright, now, that's, that's, that sounds, uh, way better than it did before. I'm going to give you guys one more A and B comparison with and without the compressors on. I start in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the five, feel by the side, tell me you fly, think like a fly, I know you a liar, I am no liar, tell you I... Just without. I start in the ride, watch on my side, stay with the Now you can't tell me you don't hear the difference, you know what I mean? So yeah, in a nutshell, pretty much, that's how you use a compressor on vocals. If you were using it on drums, it'd be the same way. Now, as I did promise, I will pull up the Pro Tools stock plugin and show you guys it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so I got the stock plug in here. No EQ. I mean, no compressor. I'm going to solo that. Attack. You know, this one gives you a lot of room. So I'm not going to bring it all the way to the, to the, uh, to the fastest. But I'm just going to go ahead and start dialing it back. But before I do that, I want to make sure to set my threshold right over here to let the compressor know when to kick in and you just want to lower it you see how much um redu gain reduction you're getting you want to lower it to where just the lowest part is going over it's just you know getting hitting it right over so you see how that that low is almost let me lower it a little bit that's perfect you, you want around negative you know negative 2 negative 3 DB but you don't want to go you know if you that's squashing it you see how much you see that that's squashing it that's something you don't want to do so let's go ahead and bring it back up all right, now let's adjust the attack. All right, I like that. Now let's... Let's do the release. I like that. Ratio, we're going to keep at 301. Now let's... I'm going to give it a little bit of gain because it's still... It's getting lost. You see how it's getting lost in that... In that uh, And the instrumental. Hey. Yeah. Now, perfect. You see what I'm saying? Maybe I might go up a little bit, a couple more dBs, but a lot of people ask. How do you know when the vocal is too loud or how do you know when it's too low? You want the instrumentation driving the mix. Alright, and I'll show you what I mean. Go over to your master. You see? Reason, man. 
messy life. I've been cleaning. Alright, so now we just got the instruments. Let's go over to our master. You see, you see how the instruments are is driving the mix? Now if we solo the vocals. Been breathing, brother's keeper. I've been keeping, kill my boy, eyes been leaking. Over to the master. Yeah, take another pop. Pass the ceiling. My heart is still in sexual healing. It's about to reveal it. See what's up? Give me a reason. Think that I'm teasing. I mean, he can bleed. All right. Getting the cream. Double the filling. Eating hungry. It's there, but it's, it's not really. Leaning hot box. Fiery steaming addict. I've been feeling. Driving the mix. Speeding demon. Chasing dreaming. Heart freezing. Fuck. Sleeping. Find your why. Find your reason. Messy life. I've been cleaning one to two. Breathe. I've been breathing. All right. So what I like to do is, you know, since this is hip hop, every genre is different, but in hip hop mainly the vocal is the center point of the song. So what you want to make sure is you have your instruments and maybe raise raise it one two dB above that. As long as the artist is audible and you can hear them, you know what I mean. Other genres, you know. Rock, I know the guitars, and maybe you want that over the vocals, or you know, so it all just depends what genre, genre you're working with. Then, <clears throat> but you know, that's how I like to gauge it. But, anyways, that's how you use a compressor. I hope that this helps you. And let me know in the comments what other tutorials you want me to do. And you already know, I got you. All right. Peace.